The Central Fraser Valley Regional Transit System proudly serves the residents of the City of Abbotsford and the District of Mission. In order for these communities to thrive and to be vibrant, the City of Abbotsford and the District of Mission saw a need to address the increasing pressure on the existing transportation system. To meet the future transit needs for these communities, BC Transit, with the support of its partners, put plans in place to build a larger, more efficient facility. This modern new operations and maintenance facility is now the home for the Central Fraser Valley Regional Transit System. Modernizing public transit is essential for getting people to choose public transit as a faster, cleaner, and more affordable way to get around in their community. I'd like to congratulate BC Transit for its new Central Fraser Valley facility in Abbotsford. The new facility and its fleet will reduce dependence on diesel fuel. These fuel-efficient buses will reduce harmful emissions and operating costs and help us fight climate change while keeping communities well connected. I'm pleased to see BC Transit support provincial targets for greenhouse gas emissions through its low carbon fleet program. We need more companies to follow suit and consider the environment when developing programs and long-term strategic plans. The Government of Canada is proud to be a partner in these important upgrades, which will make clean transportation more viable for more people and will improve the quality of life across communities. On behalf of Premier John Horgan and the Government of British Columbia, congratulations to the City of Abbotsford and the District of Mission and BC Transit on the completion of this brand new bus facility for the Abbotsford region. This is fantastic news for, Fraser, for the Fraser Valley. And congratulations to everybody on the team that worked during COVID conditions to keep this project on time and get it done. The future as we recover from COVID is much brighter now in the Fraser Valley for transit. With this facility, we'll be able to store over hundred buses, have CNG, greener transportation alternatives that are now part of the fleet. And this project is really a testament to the hard work and ingenuity of people all throughout the Fraser Valley and BC Transit and working in local government together on this unique partnership. So again, my congratulations to everybody who's made this happen. It's a fantastic day to be able to announce this for the future of the Fraser Valley. With the introduction of compressed natural gas buses, sustainability and efficiency are core to the project. This new facility was designed with expansion in mind. With seven state-of-the-art maintenance bays, this new facility allows for all buses to be inspected and maintained on site. It's great to be celebrating this new facility with my federal and municipal colleagues on behalf of the province of British Columbia. As you know, public transportation is a crucial piece of the Valley's infrastructure. From 2005 to 2010, Central Fraser Valley's transit annual ridership grew by nearly a million passengers, and those numbers continue to climb as the Valley's economy booms. This much needed new facility will make it easier for people to get to work, get home to their families, and get people traveling all through this wonderful region. Personally, I am especially proud to be here today as this project began when I was the mayor of Mission. As a longtime advocate for both the environment and sustainable public transit, I'm delighted to offer my sincerest congratulations to BC Transit and all these buses, future passengers. On behalf of the Abbotsford City Council and the City of Abbotsford, it's a real pleasure to be at the new site of the Central Valley Transit Maintenance and Operations Facility. This new facility provides Abbotsford with the ability to support and expand a fleet of cleaner burning uh, compressed natural gas buses 
It represents the growth of a sustainable and connected community, and it demonstrates the significant commitment that all levels of government have made to investing in services that support residents today and in the future. It's an exciting day for Abbotsford as this project means more efficient transit options for our residents. From Abbotsford City Council, thank you to the Government of Canada and the Province of British Columbia and the District of Mission for your support and investment in our community. I want to first thank the provincial and federal government for their support in bringing this thing to completion. I also want to acknowledge the City of Abbotsford for their leadership and dedication in helping us bring new, new improved service to Abbotsford and Mission. For the residents of Mission, this is a very critical time. As we're growing out exponentially, uh, we're realizing that we need improved services, and we also recognize that as we work towards our tra transportation master plan and want to build transit-friendly neighborhoods, we're able to provide that service as we go forward. The CNG buses are important for the District of Mission because we have enacted a Climate Action Charter Plan, and also we can recognize now that we're going to see a lower cost of expense to our community through these new buses that are less costly to operate. Congratulations and thank you to all our partners once again. Nine medium duty and 26 heavy duty CNG buses are now in operation with an additional 10 heavy duty buses arriving by summer 2021. The yard outside has been designed with efficient entrance and exit points for buses, while the on-site wash bay ensures the entire fleet can be conveniently shined up right on site. The on-site CNG fueling station makes it more efficient to get buses back out on the road to take customers where they need to be. I'm so happy to be joining our valued partners to celebrate the completion of the new Central Fraser Valley Transit Operations and Maintenance Facility. I want to thank the Government of Canada, the Province of BC, the City of Abbotsford and the District of Mission for investing in public transit and recognizing the role it plays in helping communities to thrive now and into the future. The Central Fraser Valley Transit System has seen tremendous growth over the years. And although this past year has been challenging for all transit systems, we know transit ridership will recover and that a reliable, efficient transit system in place means more people getting out of their vehicles and choosing transit as their transportation mode of choice. Another exciting achievement is the addition of CNG buses, which are cleaner burning and more cost effective. The transition to CNG buses is a large step in BC Transit's low carbon fleet program and by the summer of this year all conventional buses in these communities will be CNG. I have to thank Fortis BC for their support in bringing compressed natural gas to the Central Fraser Valley. Congratulations to everyone who had a part in making this brand new facility a reality and for those who worked to introduce CNG buses into these communities. You should all be proud of what you have accomplished. And once again, I want to thank our partners at the Government of Canada, the Province of BC, the City of Abbotsford, and the District of Mission.